Magic came into this season primed for a rebuild and hoping to develop some of their young, talented top picks. Franz Wagner and Jalen Suggs are both having good seasons and look to be in the future picture for Orlando. Unfortunately, they're facing off against a Brooklyn team that has its sights set on locking up a playoff spot. They hold the 8th seed, and after Orlando knocked off the Timberwolves earlier in the week, they won't take them lightly here. Look for Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, who will be available since it's a road game, to dominate the young Magic backcourt. Orlando ranks 10th in pace heading into this matchup with the Brooklyn Nets. At this point of the season, they are merely playing the role of spoiler with only 18 wins on the season. The Nets will have Kyrie Irving available for this road game, so you can be sure their pace will be ratcheted up a few notches. When he is in the lineup, the Nets are a much more dangerous offensive club. They rank 12th in pace, but that number is closer to the top 10 with him in the lineup. Two plays we gotta go with this one. We're gonna go Nets minus 10. Nets and Magic over 232. What say you? Again, there's only four, uh, four games on the card tonight. So not much to pick and choose from. Still, choose wisely, choose smartly. Don't bet every game. But the two plays I do like in this one, Nets minus 10, Nets magic over 232. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to each and everybody. Just get that cash. This is Trending Rabbit. Indiana played their last game against the Atlanta Hawks with a skeleton crew of guys after a slew of injuries. Three main players, Bidadzi, Duarte, and Stevenson, all missed the game, and Malcolm Brogdon has been out with a concussion. They are left with Buddy Heald and Tyrese Halliburton as their primary scoring options, and if one of them has a bad night, there is nobody to pick up the slack. They are playing hard, but simply lack the talent to compete with a Memphis team fighting to maintain the second seed in the Western Conference. The Grizzlies come into this game ranked 7th in pace over the course of 69 games. Jean Morant and Desmond Bain have been a dynamic backcourt duo the entire season and Indiana has little to help stop whatever spots they like on the floor. The Pacers are riddled with injuries, leaving Halliburton and Buddy Heald as their only scoring options. With that said, they are still playing with a chip on their shoulder and will be able to at least crack 110 plus points in this game at home. That's what I'm seeing anyway. The two plays we're going to go with here. We are going Memphis Grizzlies minus 7.5. Grizzlies Pacers over 235. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to each and everybody. Nothing but positive vibes here and nothing but peace and love. We're all here for the same reason. Smash that bookie where it hurts the most. His pocketbook. Just get that cash. Take care, all. Uh, two more games to go. We're going to cover the Pistons in Heat next, followed by Suns and Pelicans. See you in the next video. This is Trending Rabbit. Although 12.5 points is a lot, Miami has been one of the best ATS teams this season, while Detroit has struggled against top teams. This season, the Heat are 40, 28, and 1 against the spread, while the Pistons are 35, 31, and 2 after a loss. The Heat are 16-6-1 in covering the spread as they come out motivated after a loss. A big reason why Miami will be able to cover is due to the fact they shoot 37.4% from three, which ranks second while they have an average 112.9 PPG and have a net differential of 4.7. Detroit, meanwhile, is giving up 113.8 PPG and has a net differential of minus nine while opponents are shooting 36.7% which is second last. Got to take Miami to cover the spread here. Miami will likely be able to control the pace in this one, and they play at one of the slowest paces in the NBA. They rank 28th as they play at a pace of 98.3, while Detroit plays at a pace of 100.7. However, the Heat should be able to control this game and get ahead to an early lead, and with that, the under will cash here as they will take their time taking shots. The two plays I'm going to go with here. I am going Heat, minus 12.5, Pistons, Heat, under 215. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours as always. Nothing but luck, guys. We're all here for the same reason, to get that cash. we got one more game to cover. It's the Suns and the Pelicans, and that's in the next video. See you then. This is Trending Rabbit. 
Well, we already reached the end of the uh, schedule for the NBA slate tonight. Let's make it a profitable one, shall we? At least, let's try to. The Suns will be simply too strong for the Pelicans in this one. Only Chris Paul is missing for the Suns, which means that they have a predominantly healthy roster. The Pelicans don't quite match up as well with the strength of this, of this Suns offense, which will play a big part in the dominance of Phoenix. Aiton and Booker will continue their good form, and with C.J. McCollum unlikely to participate, it should be a relatively routine win for the Suns. Both teams have aced their offense in the last few games. The Suns scored 140 against the Lakers in their previous game, while the Pelicans scored 130 in their win against Houston. The Suns have averaged 114 points per game, 5th in the NBA. The Pelicans have managed 108.2 points per game, which is 22nd in the league. Both those numbers for New Orleans have improved, and that confidence and efficiency will likely take the points total over. The final two plays of the night we're going to go with, we are going Phoenix Suns minus 5.5, Suns Pelicans over 228. What say you? Let me know in the comment section. Taylor Fade, if you are skipping this game, what, what other games are you playing? Let me know. Again, comment section below. Whatever you do, Taylor Fade, may the winner be yours. Good luck to each and everybody. We're all here for the same reason, to get that cash. Positive vibes, guys. That's what it's all about. Take care. Have a great night. And let's make it all profitable. This is Trending Rabbit.